So the deity that we find reflected in these biblical texts is a deity who was very much part and parcel of a polytheistic system. He was not the only, he wasn't this solitary deity. We have one particular text in the book of Deuteronomy. It's a very old piece of almost like fossilized poetry um, that sort of speaks of a, a mythology whereby Yahweh, who becomes known you know, as the God of Israel, the God of the Bible, was originally a son. You know, he had a dad. His dad was Ael, the high God, who was, you know, the high God in the Levantine part of the world. Um, and originally, you know, Yahweh was simply kind of one of that younger generation of deities, um, a son of a high God and high goddess. This particular deity sort of eventually sort of slowly starts to kind of take over a lot of the roles and functions of this high God. He basically, you know, you could say, in theory, he kind of overthrows his own father, as is very typical <laughs> in a lot of ancient mythology. <laughs>